There's been a lot of buzz in the tech world that the recent HTC A9 looks a lot like the iPhone. It does look like an iPhone. It looks just like an iPhone. Very reminiscent of the iPhone. It looks suspiciously like the iPhone 6S here. I'll be honest, it doesn't take a trained eye to see that it does bear some resemblance. But it seems odd to me that a company would just copy off another company when the results are so apparent. So I decided to do a little research. It turns out that HTC had its designs long before Apple. And looking at all their previous phones, I can see how their products have evolved until now. So the iPhone came out in September of 2014. And the HTC A9 came out in October of 2015. Let's first talk about the similarities in shape. Specifically, this rounded pill-style profile with curved glass. Well, it turns out that this design originally unveiled itself with the HTC first. This was back in April of 2013. Remember that super successful Facebook phone? Neither do I. Second, the iPhone 6 has this beautiful metal unibody casing, kind of like the one found on the HTC M8 back in March of 2014. Lastly, both phones have these iconic antenna cuts. These were pioneered by HTC back with the M7. This came out in March of 2013. But really, who cares if Apple took inspiration from HTC? The point is that copying and being inspired is a necessary part of the creative process. Oh, I've stolen from the, the best. Picasso said, good artists borrow, great artists steal. For more on this concept, check out Kirby Ferguson's awesome series, Everything is a Remix. Or read Austin Kleon's Steal Like an Artist. I don't know who this guy is, but he said it perfectly. We have, you know, always uh, been shameless about stealing great ideas. Anyway, stop whining about one company getting inspiration from another. If you like Apple, get the iPhone. If you like HTC, get the A9. They're both beautiful products from two supremely creative companies.